Oh, what's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and welcome to a video. So in my last video, I was talking, you know, when I was unboxing and, well, unpackaging things. Um, so, I mentioned something in the video, which is what I think every Nintendo GameCube owner and maybe even Wii owner, since Wiis can play GameCube games, should own in their collection. And I also mentioned I wasn't going to be talking about third-party games like Dead to Rights, even though I've never played it. I don't even know anything about it. That's why I bought it. <laughs> so I could try it out. And if I don't like it, I'm not out much. Um, or anything like that. You know, uh, Blood Rain, even though I do recommend you get Blood Rain on there. That game's fucking phenomenal. Um, but I'm talking about the games that are not third party, that are games that are made by Nintendo for Nintendo and Nintendo only. So obviously you got your Mario parties and your Mario Karts, but this one game, the first one, I believe they made a combo pack back in the day that came with the GameCube at the time, Mario Kart Double Dash. Yes. Best game ever. No joke. I mean, I love Call of Duty. I love World at War. I love Black Ops 1, 2, 3, whatever. I love Call of Duty. Best franchise ever. But the best video game ever is Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube. And obviously, it's going to be a GameCube thing because I'm talking about GameCube games. But the reason why. I mean, first of all, it's not just nostalgic for me, but I believe it's one of the launch titles for the GameCube. As well as, you can play as two people. And you can play four-player mode on the GameCube. You can either play two against two, one against three, I believe, I don't know, but everything. You could just play a lot of different modes. And so many, I've actually done uh, long ass gameplay videos. I have not done complete um, six hour ones. I mean, it, I look at the back of the footage and it's not. So I will be playing the game for six fucking hours again. Don't worry. Gaming marathon. Um, but another thing is everything about Mario Kart is perfect. It's got a large roster of characters like every Mario Kart game should. Um, it's got... It, it, it's one of the games, even back on the SNES days and N64 days, uh, it's one of those games where you can lose your goddamn friends just like that. You know the blue shell. <laughs> when your friend is so close, or, or you or one of your friends is so close to winning, or beating each other. If you, you don't necessarily have to win to be good. You have to be better than all the rest of your friends to be considered good among your friends. Um, you, you fire that blue shell. And you steal the lead or your friends steal the lead. Next thing you know, you will be doing some WWE class shit. You'll be on top of one another just like punching each other in the face. Cat fighting and then just all of a sudden the next thing you know you forget why you were friends in the first place because of the blue shell and it's so fucking exciting i love that shit all right enough excitement on that another game i highly recommend i also mentioned smash brothers again smash brothers melee is one of those games that you can lose your friends very easily, and for the same reasons. You know, let's say, I mean, not like Mario Kart, same, not, not like same Mario Kart reasons, but, you know, same video game kind of reasons. You know, you think you're going to win against two of your friends, your best friend, you know, one-on-one, one-on-two, one-on-three, whatever, free-for-all. And then, you get a powerful-ass item... And, or you pick a character that is just overpowered and game-breaking. 
to the point where your friends are going to hate you after the match. And it's so, again, fucking exciting. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's, it's, it's the best. It's fucking awesome. It's what I believe every GameCube owner should have in their collection. Mario Kart Double Dash and Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now, another game I highly recommend is not a multiplayer game. And meaning it's single player only. It is Metroid Prime. Now, the first game, I mean, you don't play the game for a while after you play a lot of Call of Duty and um, other FPS kind of games, you know, Halo, Battlefield, whatever. You go back to playing a game like Metroid Prime, the controls are all weird and shit, but you can get used to them pretty quickly. The thing about the game is, first off, it's the first ever Metroid game in an FPS style, which is first-person shooter. And it's just so overall gorgeous. The landscapes, the, the, you know, the planets that you go on, the adventures with Samus and everything. One thing I do not like about video games as a whole, this is not just this game, but this game is part of it, is you get all the good weapons at the beginning. You get everything. You get the, you know, the, the plasma gun, you know, the, the charge shot, and then you get the, the, the rockets, and you get everything. And then something happens, and then you have to get that shit all back. I hate games that do that. I understand, make a game, you know, and then, you know, tease a person so they can still play it and become the strongest again. But at the same time, I don't get it. I mean, yes, I also understand by taking away everything that the player has had to regain everything, you're making the game somewhat challenging and hard using the puzzles and all this shit. That's cool. Um, but in general, Metroid Prime is a fucking awesome game. And its predecessor, Metroid Prime 2... Damn, that's beautiful as well. I mean, it's not as good as the first one, but it's fucking amazing. I love Metroid Prime. Enough said. Now, Metroid Prime 3, that's a different story. <laughs> um, it has on the Wii, so I'm not going to be talking about it in this video. Um, another game I highly recommend everybody should get for their GameCube or Wii is Animal Crossing. Yes, Animal Crossing. Now, a lot of people might be saying, oh my god, isn't that the kid's game, a childish game, or whatever? Yes, but there's more to that. It's, it's, I, I don't know, it's fucking everything, you know? If I'm not mistaken, you could have four people. Uh, not at the same time, I don't think. It's a one-player game. Actually, I have it. I, should, I could take a look at it. But I don't really, I don't want to get up and go through all the fucking GameCube games I own. I own way too much. <laughs> but I'm still collecting for them. Um, but Animal Crossing, it's a really fucking amazing game. I highly recommend you check it out. At least, at least check it out. Um, and get it for your GameCube or Wii. Um, you know, or even if you're, if you have a dolphin emulator for your computer or something like that, or a smartphone, tablet, whatever, get these games for them and play them. You will not be disappointed. Now, Animal Crossing, like I said, yeah, it's a childish game, but it's fun as fuck. It's more than that. You could piss off your friends. You could, you could just whack them with a, your net or with an axe. Try to chop them off and kill them. But you can't because there is no death in Animal Crossing. You get you get some money. You have to, you know, and basically it's a way you can live on your own in the game. Somewhat teaching you things. Some things, not everything. It's basically a simulation of certain things. And the conversations with some of the animals you get in the game. The villagers, holy fuck. That's some cool shit. Okay, so now I'm done talking about Animal Crossing. I'm going to be talking about the Mario Party series. Now, again, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Mario Party. They're all the same thing when it comes to pissing your friends off, 
to the point where they're no longer going to become your friends. Mario Party is the same thing as the other two I mentioned, Smash Brothers and Mario Kart. You can basically piss off your friends. I mean, there was a meme or something I was, I was typing in video games, and because I was doing something for this video, video games that will ruin your friendships with one another. Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, Mario Party. In a nutshell. All the Mario Party games released on the GameCube are that way. Damn. Where do I begin with Mario Party? It's a really great party game. Get you and your friends together. Have a, have, have a drink of beer. Maybe eat... Maybe eat a Pop-Tart or something. Something like that. And I just... Once you're done, attack everybody you know. Next thing I'll be attacking the game store owner for giving you the game. Be like, you made my friends leave, and the game game owner, you know, the game, you know, the, the store owners could be like, no, 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 that wasn't me. That was all you for buying the game and playing with your friends. No, it's you. No, it's you. 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 And then everyone's gonna start fighting again. Oh my god, this game, this video is going fucking insane. Um, now let's talk about The Legend of Zelda. Now, I've never played The Wind Waker, so I can't really get my honest opinion on that. But I can give you one on Twilight Princess. Oh my fucking sweet Celestia! Twilight Princess is a great game. The title in itself. Twilight Princess sounds fucking gorgeous and beautiful. It, it, it's like Princess Twilight Sparkle. Wait. It's a conspiracy. Hasbro played Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and decided to make Twilight Sparkle a princess so they could be Twilight Princess. Princess Twilight. Conspiracy unlocked. So anyways, it's a really great game. Really great, um dungeon game it's good it's beautiful it's it's awesome not not enough words and things that are good enough can be said about this game this game is just fucking awesome um it makes you think sometimes and sometimes it makes you want to hit yourself right on top of the fucking head because the puzzles are simple and, and, you know, they're not really all that simple, but at the same time, they're simple. You know, it's like in the medium. Like, some of the puzzles are so simple, and you could be stuck there for hours and hours and hours. Be like, where do I go? How do I do this and that, this and that, this and that? And then you finally figure out the solution. It's like, fuck you, why are you so stupid? And, and then your subconscious is going to be like, no, why are you so stupid? And you're going to argue with your subconscious again, why are you so stupid? Well, why are you a dumbass? Why are you a fucktard? Why are you a banana? And you look at yourself, and your subconscious looks at you awkwardly, and then it's like, where do I begin? Like, how do I fucking... How do I argue with myself and then just disagree with myself? So, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, fucking awesome game. If you want to get that on the Wii, there's a Wii remaster. I believe they're, I guess, remastering it for the Switch or something. I don't know. I heard there's going to be another, rema uh, another remaster. Um, and let's see. What other games? I'm trying to think. Oh, yes! Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness and Pokemon Coliseum. I'm putting them in the same thing because they're basically the same game. Just different protagonists and different stories, but it's roughly the same game. Um, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness and Coliseum are really awesome games. They are basically the, the Pokemon games you all know and love from the the uh, portable games. You know, the red, blue, green, yellow, fire red, leaf green, stuff like that adventure kind of games but it's in 3d and on the gamecube 
And it's got basically the same thing. You know, you, you throw your Pokeball, and you fight trainers, you catch Pokemon, you catch, well, Shadow Pokemon, but there's still Pokemon. You catch other things, you do this and that, you can buy Pokeballs, you can do all these things like you can in the portable versions. And it's just awesome. Now, the one thing I do have to mention, though, it does take a while to get anywhere. The story takes forever sometimes, like most games, and the dialogue is so slow sometimes, and, and just the overall trainer battles just take forever. So be mindful of that. But overall, Colosseum and Next Decal of Darkness are great games. Now, what else am I going to be? Oh, yes. Wario Party, or War, no, 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 WarioWare, what, what was that game? Hold on, this is the only time I'll actually get the fuck up. Well, I'm at, I might as well check and see if you can play four players on Animal Crossing. Um. Oh, yeah. WarioWare Incorporated. Mega Party Games. It's a great game. It's fun. It's cool. Next! Nah, just kidding. It's, um, more of a bunch of, like, mini games. It doesn't have the same feel as, like, Mario Party, but it's still fun. WarioWare is a great series. Uh, I like it. Back in the day. It's cool. What else was there? I, I know this is a, I know this is a third party game. I know I said you no know, third party games, but this one needs to be talked about. Soul Calibur 2. The GameCube version at least. Because it's Soul Calibur 2. Soul Calibur fucking in general. I love Soul Calibur. Great fighting game. Um but with this, you have Link as a fighter a, a fighter fightable and playable character. So yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Now let's see, I'm, I'm going to take a look at my Wii, my Wii games. Yeah, that. Um, also take a look at some games on the GameCube. <laughs> um, what was that one? Shit, what was that one? I know there was one. I don't know if this was released on any other systems like the Xbox or the PS2, but Extreme G Racing 3, or XG3 Extreme G Racing, as I called it back in the day. It probably is what it's actually called. But it's fucking amazing. It's a racing game, yes. But you have guns, you have. You can blow each other up. It's a fucking amazing, awesome, bad ass, fucking awesome, bad. Ass, fucking awesome, bad, ass, why am I repeating myself, I don't know, racing game, <laughs> best racing game I've played ever in my life, so all these games that I have mentioned thus far, you should totally get for your GameCube or Wii, all these games are fully available on the GameCube, so if you want to get them, do it. Now, these games that I'm mentioning, games like Smash Brothers, Mario Party, games like that, they're really expensive, but they are worth it. I have two more games. Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, no, 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 no. I got three different games. I'm just coming up with some more. Super Mario Sunshine. It's fucking awesome. It's like if Mario 64 and, um... Other Mar and, and Luigi's Mansion had a kid, except without all the horror elements from Luigi's Mansion. Uh, oh, that's another game. Fuck, damn it! Where am I coming up with all these games? But there are so many games. It's awesome. Um, but long as I'm try I'll try to keep this short because I can't remember what I just fucking said. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine, great game, awesome, fun.
Luigi's Mansion, same thing. It's beautiful, it's awesome. You catch ghosts and all that good shit. Um, I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, what was the other two? What was the other two? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. I don't like golf games. You know, I don't like sports games in general, but if it's Mario Party... Mario... Fuck. Mario Fuck! That's a good game! <laughs> You fuck Princess Peach in the ass. No, I was joking around. Um, but Mario Golf Toadstool Tour is a great game. Again, in the same way, it could lose friendships and relationships and whatever. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Got a lot of weird shit in there. Uh, <laughs> the last game, and I swear to Ernest Hemingway, this is the last fucking game I'm gonna be talking about. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Oh! 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 There we go. So now that I got that out of the way, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is a fucking amazing game. It's an RPG game like uh, Mario Seven Keys, Seven Keys, Seven and the uh, whatever. The game on the SNES, Mario RPG, but it's better. It's like the first Paper Mario on the N64, only better. It's it's everything that the N64 game of Paper Mario has done. A Thousand Year Door has done better. Better gameplay mechanics. Better everything. You're on a stage, and and you get, you get things, star power, and everything, the crystal stars, everything about the game is fucking amazing, all the way down to the final boss. Now, I've never been able to beat the final boss, let alone get that far, but, but, it's fucking amazing, nonetheless. And it's just, it has references to other things, it's, it's got good gameplay elements, it's got good humor, good comedy in there, it's got everything, let me fucking tell you. Whenever I watch PKGAM, hashtag shout out to PKGAM, um, whenever I, I watch him, I mostly watch the same thing, his Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door walkthrough, I have seen that thing. Ten times! Ten times! Because, not only is the game fucking amazing, but it's played by the most amazing, awesome person in the universe. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this was, but... Anyways, guys and gals, that is it for this video. If you like this video... Wait, am I th okay, now, I don't want to think of any more games. I could be saying things like Kirby and and, and, and more Pokemon and this and that and this and that. But I, I'm, I'm just going to go on for all eternity if I do that. So anyways, guys and gals, if you like this video, give this video a like if I was fine too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below to get notified of my future uploads and lives. Which is, 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 is Sonic here? Yeah, Sonic's there. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace out, people, and bro -huff. Also, subscribe to PK Gam and check out all these games that I have mentioned. Play them. Just do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. And tomorrow is today. So just do it. Ow, fuck. <laughs> Anyways, peace out, bro. Fuck. Oh, also, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Get that game as well. Even though it's really pricey, get it.